Hello guys, this is me Suman. Today is 17th January 2023 and I'm going to uh, share my experience about the book that I read last time. Uh, last time I read this book, Haiku book, and its topic is, it's the name of the book is The Night Lights of Queto. And it is written by Fliss Newson. Fliss Newson is also considered as a homeopathic doctor and and I don't know, he, he or she, but uh, he, she uh, is also a well-recognized um, journalist according to this uh, about the writer, about the description about the writer. And uh, I, uh, in fiction, I normally like poetry and because haiku are also a type of poetry it is a japanese poetry and there is a very strict rules about the number of words that you choose because japanese haiku means there are fixed number of words or letter and so so i am going to experience uh, i am going to share my experience about this haiku book so it is a very small book you can uh, see and you if I compare it, it with another book, it is really small and it is really short. And all together, uh, there are there are hundreds of haikus, and I read all of the hundred haiku, haiku. And haiku doesn't take a long time to read it because they are very short, uh, like poems. Poems are more little bit longer than the haikus. And my experience about this book is that because I'm not really good in about the vocabulary of English, so it was really difficult for me to understand this haikus. And especially because the writer is from the medical background and because to be a medical doctor, you also need to study uh, science and it is about physics chemistry and biology in high school i think so and that's why the vocabulary is more tougher tough and one thing i want to remind you is that the night lights of Koito. Koito is i think it is the um, one of the city of japan and some people say it is it used to be the capital city of japan and now people normally take it as a cultural city of japan and in this book the haikus are really difficult to understand for average people because the vocabulary is very tough and i had i had a feeling that the writer created some of the words by herself and some parts i really like about the haikus in this book is that uh, some of the um, some of the haikus are really about the sky the astronomy and the space because uh, the night lights of Koito and because I'm I also really like astronomy space and stars that's why you know uh, this book some poems are really fascinating and imaginary like the uh, some of the imaginations uh, with the reference of milky way galaxy and the stars and the space sky nightlife so it is really nice otherwise for normal people it is not easy to understand this book especially if you are not native english speaker like me Thank you. This is all about um, my personal opinion about this book. Uh, I hope you can have some reference with my video. Thank you. Jai Nepal.